Both nets are a very powerful tool used by malicious actors to mass control systems and achieve attacks such as DDoS, send huge volumes of spam and run cryptocurrency farms. A botnet is a network of compromised systems where each individual machine is known as a bot or a zombie. All of these bots are controlled by a centralized system known as a command and control server. In this playlist we will write a very basic C2 server from scratch using the Go programming language. The primary goal of this series will not be to invent anything new, but rather learn and understand the fundamentals of how such systems work under the hood. Another goal of the series is to hopefully give you confidence to craft your own solutions for ethical hacking tasks and show that building a tool is nothing too difficult. In a moment I will walk you through what our final project will look like. In the upcoming videos we will break down the process of building both the server and the client application with each video covering one step at a time aiming to make it as understandable as possible for you. If there is interest we might even implement additional features other than those you will see in this initial demo. Before we proceed, please note that this series is not designed for absolute beginners. It assumes some prior knowledge, including basic networking, familiarity with the Go programming language and an understanding of concurrent programming. If you find yourself unsure about the concept at any point, try searching for more information on that specific topic online or feel free to ask questions in the comments. I am in Kali Linux now and I will show you what our final project will look like. The terminal you can see on the left is going to be our attacker where we are going to run our server. The two terminals on the right we are going to simulate two victims with them and we are going to run the client on them. Ok, let's start the server. It is now listening and we can use the help command to see possible commands we can use. We can use sessions to list the active sessions, we can use interact to start an interaction with the session, we can close sessions and we can also run a command on all sessions with this mass exec. And we can also shut down the C2 server with the exit command. Let's list sessions. As you can see, currently there are no sessions available, so let's connect a client. As you can see a connection popped up, if we now list the sessions, we can see we have one session available and we can interact with it. And now we have a normal shell, we can run commands. While in a shell we can also use help and here we have some commands we can use such as background that backgrounds the session and close which closes the session. So if we background the session, we are back in this menu and we can list the sessions again. Let's connect another client. As you can see, it just popped up. If we list the sessions, now we have two sessions and we can interact with the other session the same way. If any session happens to be closed client side, the server will recognize that and uh, let us know that it closed and also remove it from our session list here. Okay, let's reconnect. And as you can see, it popped up again and we now have two sessions again. Now I will show you the mass exec feature which allows us to run commands on all sessions we have and this could be useful for example to launch a DDoS attack or something else that requires all bots in the botnet to execute something at the same time. We type mass exec and now any command we run here will be run on all clients. So let's try Firefox. And as you can see Firefox just popped up twice because it was started from both clients. We also have help in the mass exec shell and we can exit the mass exec shell and we are back here in the root shell. We can also close sessions like this. And if we close it client side as, as I already showed you, the server will recognize that. Now we no longer have any sessions and we can close the C2 server as well. If you're interested in learning how this works, meet me in the next part where we'll begin building it step by step. See you there.